Hey everybody, this is my fatty update um, for this week. It's Friday. Now I had done my last update and I didn't think I was making much progress. But Wednesday evening my daughter slipped and fell in the hallway. <laughs> Because she's the clumsiest bitch I've ever met in my life. She's always been. So she slips, she falls in the hallway, and she breaks her arm. She falls, she breaks her arm. So we're at the at the ER Wednesday evening, and I had the opportunity to weigh myself while we were there. And it read, now this was Wednesday evening. And if you know anything, like you've ever heard the thing where you have your most accurate weight in the morning. And it'll fluctuate if you wait later in the day. And it's supposedly because in the morning your muscles are relaxed. There's no tension, no extra weight, blah, 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 blah. Whatever the reason. But Wednesday evening, I weighed at the hospital 246.2. Um, which is less than I thought I was going to be. So that's probably going to mean that my Wednesday morning weight would have been 245.5 somewhere in there. Just point so many pounds off, point so many. Um, I'm kind of happy about that. I went to the mall um, to get a juicer. Well, there's only a Belks there and a Ross that, that would carry that. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond or Bath, whatever that place is. Anyway, I don't go there. I didn't even think about them because they're not actually in the mall. They're only like outer shops of the mall. So I went to Ross and I went to Belks. Ross didn't have any juicers. Belks had like three or four to pick from. And the only one that was probably even worth the shit was a hundred. And I had a hundred to spend on it, but I didn't have a hundred to spend on it. You know what I mean? Um, it was a Jack LaLanne, the stainless and black one. And I thought, eh, nah, I'm just going to wait. You know, there's more stores around. I need to just look more. So I'm leaving the mall and I decide... We well, you know, of course, I stopped by Shade Tree Vapes and said hi to Greg and bought some juices. Uh, but then I, I leave them all and I thought, I'm going to trade it. So I checked trade it and a month ago they had a Jack LaLanne black and stainless juicer for $60. Well, they still had it. It was still there. Still $60. They also had the white one, the older one. And they wanted $25 for that one. And I was like, eh. I don't know. It's kind of an older one. So I went ahead and got the Jack LaLanne for $60. And I found out, first I asked about their whole return policy, which is so shady for most stuff there. Um, but they said that that particular type of item had a 90-day warranty if it quit working or didn't function well or whatever. So with me using it two or three times a day, if it holds up for the 90 days, it's good to go. So I went ahead and got it. I started my juicing this morning and planned on going for a walk with Aaron, but he's been getting sick in the evenings, like vomiting and high fever and everything. So we are struggling with that. And, you know, we're alternating between the acetaminophen and the ibuprofen, as you're supposed to do. Uh, to get the fever down. And when he started feeling bad, I decided not to go for a walk. Uh, I'd rather stay here with him and make sure he's okay and pamper him. That's my baby. That's my little homie. So I didn't go for my walk, but when Doug gets home, we have to go to the grocery store. So I am at least going to get out and get some movement going here um, and buy me some vegetables and some fruits to juice because we only had enough for today, but we're going to go to the store and get some more for the next couple of days. It's not the kind of thing I'm going to stock up on for the week because it's um it'll go bad and I'm not buying it at Walmart anymore. We bought some oranges and there were already two moldy soft oranges in the bag the day we got them. No more fucking Walmart vegetables and fruits. They have the they get the lowest quality vegetables and fruits of any store I've ever been to and I've shopped at a lot of the different stores for that type of stuff because it's hard to find it that's not rotted. Walmart's the worst. The worst. Um, so we're going to the grocery store and we're going to get, you know, stuff tonight for the next couple of days so I can juice. And uh, I'm not doing any any fad shit. I tried a fad thing a few months ago and it was where you wrap your body in uh, saran wrap. 
you know, those body wrap things and you put on a skin firming, cellulite reducing lotion all over your body first. So I did. I got the big giant bottle of the cellulite stuff I already had here and I got it out of the bathroom. I got completely naked, not even underwear, and I rubbed my whole body down with this shit. And, uh, well, I'll just show you what I used. I used this giant roll of saran wrap, okay? And I wrapped my whole body in it when my daughter helped me. It was hilarious. It was so funny. And we took pictures. Of course, I won't be posting them. It was god awful. It was the worst. That was the last fad thing I tried. And I actually did lose a little bit in my back from the before and after photographs that we took. But the thing of it is, it's water weight. You know, you're, you're just sweating a little bit. It might be okay to do it maybe once every month. You know, if you get a little excess water retention. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But it was obviously a fad. And I was like, fuck it. I have this giant roll of saran wrap. I'm going to try it. So I already had everything I had to have. I, I won't be doing anything like that anymore. I'm just going to stick to the proper eating, the nutritional things that will help me with the detoxifying, with the spices and the herbs and everything that I can add in my food. And um, keep my stress down, try to get rid of this belly fat and ass fat and just take better care of myself, get more active. So that's my fatty update. Wednesday's weigh-in was 246.2. Of course, this is Friday, so I don't know what it is today. Um, and I will try to get to the mall and use their calibrated scales more often because my scales are obviously a piece of shit. They're completely wrong. But they have... Uh, well calibrated scales at the GNC at the mall and it costs 50 cent. I'll just spring for the 50 cent once a week. Thanks for stopping by and listening to my shit. Hit the red button below and hang out with me some more. Everybody have a really good day. Bye.